Welcome to John the Pork, we're here at Plant Ice Witness for the matchup between the Black Bear Hawks and the Witness Wild, but this is no normal matchup, this is the Morally Midland Cup game. Then a derby, and you know how much we've had this circled on our calendar <laughs> right from the start of the season. Don't stand <laughs> us. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, it, it's going to be a barnstormer. It's almost like going back to the Wild West, Gary. We're definitely in for a bit of a shootout here. Great Scott! <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, immediately, you know, we've got two prolific, offensive, powerful teams that both aren't, you know, afraid to turn it physical. Both can play each other's cards very well. They know how each other plays very well. They've all, all the players I've seen today have played on this rink at some point to know how to work the rink well. It's almost like they've cherry-picked the best of the, the Laidler players previous against the, the re, you know, the Laidler uh, morally mixture players this season. And uh, they're almost like two, it's two all, all-star teams. teams, yeah. Very yeah, much almost, so. If you looked at the roster, uh, and for viewers of Dr. Puck uh, of old, you'll recognise a lot of the names we call out today because um, a, there's a good influx in the in the Black, uh, Black Bear Hawks team of XD Side Dragons players and a few Witness Wild players. Ex Bradford Bulldogs players. Yeah, and likewise, yeah, <laughs> likewise with, uh, with Witness Wild, there's quite a few of their players uh, from various clubs like Hall and that. So it's a, a new look Blackburn Hawks. Now, the thing is, though, Ben, these two teams have already met each other prior. Right at the start of the season, they played a, a cup game then. It was at Blackburn. It was the first game between the two. And that played out to be a very, very close game. Blackburn coming out 5-4 winners in that. Now, interestingly enough, both teams coming into this have both played three cup games. Wilder played three, won two, and one of them was an overtime win, and they've lost one. Both those wins came against the top team, the Sheffield Scimitars, which we saw on the last episode of Drop the Puck. Blackburn Hawks have only won one game and have lost two. Their one game that they've won is against Witness Wild. So this is setting itself up to be a really, really good derby game. It is, I think it's literally, you, there's no other way to say it other than it's a derby game. It's almost like a playoff game. Script goes out the window, form goes out the window. Everything is passion, pride and heart and that's exactly what you're going to see on the ice today. Well, one of the things that uh, we will be watching out for is um, some of the hits because I don't think the, I don't think there'll be any holes barred in this one. No. I think it's going to be a very lively, very physical game but because it's a derby, one team will want to get one on the other. Definitely. So, um, who, sh who should be watching out for because there's some prolific scorers on both sides. So, going for the wild first, because we're obviously at home ice here, um, Liam Charnock has had an absolutely outstanding season so far. He's been causing lots of issues for the, uh, the opposing teams. We know he's got the speed on those skates as well. He can get into the dangerous positions. It's going to be interesting to see how he's fed today. And obviously, we've mentioned him multiple times now here on Drop the Puck. The head coach for the Witness Wild, Rich Hager. Rich has also been a very prolific player. We've known some other teams have keyed on him, but then that's opened up the other aspects of the offensive unit that the Wild bring. Of course, Mike Clancy, ex-coach of Widdes Wild, now coach of Blackburn as well. Um, and women's GB coach as well. Well, of course, that. yeah. Goes without saying. Um, surely he's, he's going to know a little bit about some of these players here. Exactly. You know, a little bit of knowledge is dangerous in this game. And I think, you know, he'll impart some of that information as well onto XD side Dragon players like two of James Parsons. Now, Parsons at the moment is absolutely absolutely on fire, he's having a, a barnstorm season, but he's supported with the likes of Aaron Davis, all-time Blackburn, Blackburn Hawks goal scoring, you know, point scorer, and um, when you've got firepower like that, and experience like that as well, it's going to be a dangerous equation for those witness D-men. Aaron Davis, uh, obviously uh, a friend of Drop the Pucks because he, he attends some of our playoff games and is a guest commentator on that. I'm surprised Aaron's still playing, to be honest with you, because he, he seems to have been here forever. But, nevertheless, Wild, you say Charna and Hager, they were prolific in that last game against... Uh, last Sheffield, episode of Drop yep. the Puck against Sheffield. Um, 
I think it's going to be a tighter game. I think it's going to be physical, like I said. I think it's going to be aggressive. I, can't, I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think it's going to be very close. Yeah. It all depends on um, who they put between the pipes and how much they want to win it. Very much so. You know, you've got very experienced netminders all around. You've got Harrison Walker and Evan Coles, who are the options for the witness wild. You've got Mike Rogers and Ash Smith, who are the option there for the Bath Bay Hawks. All the guys there, absolutely top of the game. You can certainly keep the puck out the net. It's going to be a hell of a game. That's all well, I can say. Definitely a recipe for uh, not disaster, but certainly <laughs> a, a great match here at Planet's Eyes Witness. So without further ado, I think it's time to go down to the ice. It's time to drop the puck. The puck has been dropped. Hager and Parsons on the draw. And Wild win it and dump it into the Backburn zone. Uh, Parsons and Davies trying to work it out. And this is Kearney Witter making a step to the red line where he gets the puck in deep. But that's an icing call, didn't quite make red. And the face-off is going to come back into the Blackburn zone. Well, one of the things I always talk about in these games when Ben's normally joining me in the commentary box, penalties, that's going to play a big factor today. Both teams need to keep their players on the ice, George. Yeah, decisive last week in the game against Sheffield was those... Uh, those power plays, so interesting to see who can keep their discipline today. And this is Furlong at the blue line Ooh. with a shot that's easily gloved by Rogers, and there will be a second face off in the Hawk zone. So the uh, Wild, the first one to test the netminder. Looks like the Wild keeping their top line out for the offensive zone face off. Whereas Blackburn change up, and it's now Wainwright for Blackburn in defensive position, swinging it around. And Blackburn attempts to go cross ice to Novak, but that's cut, cut off by the Wild, and the Wild managed to clear the zone. But neutral transition for Blackburn now, and a long dumping which has gone high up into the net. I think that must have taken a, taken a deflection. Craig Williams whistles for a face-off in the wild zone, in the wild defensive zone. Of course, last time these two met each other at the very beginning in, in September, and Blackburn came out five ball winners, as you said, at the start of the programme. Face-off to be contested here by Gilbert for Wild and Pollitt for the Hawks. And Blackburn come away with it. And working down low, uh, we have a Blackburn player who's dispossessed eventually by Gilbert. Gilbert swung it round to the point. Nice shot block there from Charnock for the Wild. And the puck is down behind the Wild goal. Turning, Blackburn player, number 47. And behind the net again, one swivel out in front. And it was Pollitt who just mishandled. And Blackburn had to recover the puck, but they have retained the zone. And now Pollitt attempts to get a handle on that one, but it runs loose. And he's forced to battle against the boards, where the wild defenseman is uh, pinning the Hawks forward up against the boards. Oh, nice save. And Harrison Walker deflected that one into the corner with his pads. Wild still working to get the puck out. And Stubbley and Robinson have managed to get the puck out and up to Charnock, who puts the wheels on and pins his defenseman against the board. But here come the Hawks away with Wainwright. Flipped a puck up to centre, but it wasn't on the ice, and Pollock couldn't handle it, so he's gone for a change. And the Hawks get fresh legs out. Wild coming through centre, but the pass was just out of the reach of Charnock. And uh, Mike Rogers deflected it into the corner. Neutral transition for the Wild again. Hajek, number 12, in the zone. Nice pass to Britain, cross ice. Britain couldn't handle it, though, and it's gone in the corner, and it's out front oh. to Hajek who didn't get much on it, and it just floated over the, the crossbar. Good chance there for the Wild. Wild again in transition. And again, swinging the puck back in deep, where Hajek chases, and Britain recovers, and his shot, oh! his shot hit a stick, and then tantalizingly... Yeah, right across the blue paint area there, nobody yep. to tap it in. Novak now turning behind the net. And this is Joe Wyatt for the Wild, but he is muscled off the puck by the men in black, and the puck is sent all the way down 
That's another icing call against the Hawks, though. So it's coming straight back into their zone. Of course, Joe Wyatt's against, coming up against some of his old teammates from the Ultimate Aces there. Kate King, and uh, to name one. Jared Dickerson, another one. Furlong and Kemp on defence for the Wild here, who won the face-off with Beach. Ooh. And his pass up to Hager was misplaced, and Valusiak brings it away for the Hawks. His shot was blocked by Kemp. And then a little bit of pressure from Volkanov clears the zone. And Kemp comes back for the Wild, can't clear the zone. But then Hager does so, and oh, Volkanov didn't quite look up in time to find Beach, but then he shoots. Ooh. A blocker save there from Rogers. Wild forcing a few early saves from Mike Rogers in the Hawks' net. It's dealt with them well. Once though. more, Blackburn have iced the puck once more. So the Wild now starting to ask a few questions. Yeah, and the pressure's telling because uh, Blackburn don't appear to be able to bring, always bring out with possession. Well, we wonder how long it is before we see a goal. It's testing each other out at the moment. Hager, Beach and Volkanov is the line out for the Wild. Parsons contesting the face-off for the Hawks. He wins that. And Aaron Davies immediately cleared it. I think the linesman might have got a puck there. As the Hawks bring it out from their zone. But loose puck recovered by Beach. Beach didn't quite get a handle on it, though. And it's loose again. But now Volkanov's backhand pass, oh. which Beach didn't see, and went all the way through onto Rogers, who made the save. Volkanov's rides a hit. And now Beach... Just lifts one to Stubbley. That was blocked by oh, Davies. No. Oh. Well, Beach's shot has fooled the goal judge, but not the players. And now an open net, surely. Oh, oh my Lord. Well, <laughs> confusing scenes here. <laughs> well, we had an eager ju goal judge, because if you can see in the replay, has all the scuffle. Well, uh, just prior to that, of course, you get the, the goal judge flashes the light. Everybody thinks it's a goal, but the players continue and the goal gets crashed. Once more, face off in the Blackburn zone. Wild piling on the pressure. Early doors here. And this time we have a line of Gilbert, Robinson, and Charnock out. It's uh, through to Wilcox on defence. Wilcox bringing it in, good skating. He's hammered hard. Whoa. Well, we said it's going to be man. physical. I think <laughs> who then went to take another hit, and now Novak brings it up. And Novak drags and shoots, and Whoa. Walker swallows that up. That was a nice shot there. Novak lined that up straight down the throat of the netminder, but he soaked it up well. It was Dickinson, not Pollitt, throwing the hit there. Um, throwing the hit on Chris Wilcox. Uh, we face off now Pollitt and Gilbert, and that's won by Gilbert. And Murray skates it round the back of the net for the Wild. And it's then chipped out. And quick, quick feet here for the Wild, bringing it up into the Blackburn zone, but... Possession breaks down, and Novak calmly brings it up. Oh, bad pass there from the Wild defence, from the oh, oh. Hawks defenceman. And Charnock had a chance on the backhand, which the defenceman eventually got a stick on. And another one floats over the crossbar. Gilbert this time for the Wild. Backhands one across to Hajek. Hajek gains the zone with time and sends one right down towards the mask of uh, Rogers. Well, all teams, uh, players on both sides of the uh, puck here have got out their head on a swivel. End-to-end -end stuff right now. Uh, but still, the score remains with 14-40 remaining on the clock. Witness Wild nil, Batman Hawks nil. Uh, Britain, Wyatt and Hajek out for the Wild, but they haven't managed to win the face-off. And Blackburn now looking to bring it up through neutral, which they do with MJ Clancy. Clancy winds up and fires, and Walker had trouble with that, and he managed to glove it down. But the Wild now come away, and Hajek just backhands a loose puck for Furlong, but Furlong couldn't control that. And it's for Kemp to take control of things at centre ice. The loose puck, though, makes it back into the Blackburn zone. 
where the Hawks defensemen start to bring it up. Pass up to neutralise for Clancy. Clancy backhands it. That's going to go for icing, I think. No, waved off. Kemp beat his man to the puck. And now the Wild bring it up out of defence. Up to Hajek once more. He couldn't quite control that one that was behind him. And the defenceman Warnock for Blackburn takes control. Ends up with Kearney Witter on Blackburn defence, but his pass was behind his man. And now he's got himself in a spot of bother. Had to turn his back, but the Wild were looking for a change. Didn't use their speed to press the advantage. Hawks play, stretch pass up towards Valusiak, but it was out of his reach and Walker forced to come out and play the puck. And now Briley, number four for the Wild, backhands the puck clear of the zone and it's loose at neutral ice. Recovered then by Beach for Hager oh. to take a shot and he tests his stick because yeah. he whiffed it. So unlikely even that to do that. Looks like he... They lost confidence in his stick there. Uh, Beach throws a hit on his man, but without much impact. Now Pollitt bringing up with speed for Blackburn through the neutral zone. Drags and fires. Easy hold for Walker. Well, 12.50 remaining on the clock and still with this wild nil. Blackburn Hawks nil. We said this in the build-up. We think it's going to be a close, intense fair, but it's definitely physical. Advantage wild in this first seven and a half minutes, though. We have a rare face off in the wild zone. And Blackburn control and fire one across, but the pass was hard and high. And Volkanov now for the wild, wheeling and dealing. And a loose puck to oh! Beach. Well, wow. 1 0 wild. Yeah, done well there. He's managed to get, come down the side, weaves his way through, beats it back, and it's slotted home there, calmly as you like. It gives Wild a 1 0 lead here now. It's with 12.35 remaining, it's with this Wild 1. Blackburn Hawks 0. So, taken just over 7 minutes, 7 minutes 25 seconds for the Wild to open their account. The goal by Kieran Beach. And the Wild then have changed their line, and it's now Gilbert coming up through centre ice to Robinson, who tried to control it with his skate, but it's evaded his stick. He then takes his man into the corner. And Charnock reverse pass to Gilbert. Stick check there by Cade King for the Hawks. Now Charnock skating up the half boards. Cycles it down to Gilbert. Another spin pass from Gilbert but there's no one home that time. And now Murray up at the point with a bit of time. Oh, he took a shot for Rogers and came off Rogers' shoulder. I don't think Rogers saw that. And Blackburn now moving out with a bank pass to Clancy. Clancy on his own up at centre ice. Takes a shot at the blue line but he deflects off the defenceman. Now Robinson calmly Backhands one to Murray on defence for the Wild. Clancy Murray didn't have a, up. Sorry, Judge. Clancy didn't have much support there, which was surprising. Right. No, Blackburn changing the lines, I think. So he didn't have much choice but to get a shot. Could have put the puck in deep, of course, but now we have Joe Wyatt Whoa. coming down in the corner. He's uh, he rides the hit of two Blackburn players, <laughs> as if one wasn't enough in this game. <laughs> And Blackburn now with a bit of time to move up from defence. Nice spin move by Cade King to evade Novak. And King comes up through neutral. Plays it up to the left wing for Davies, but Davies couldn't get it. Novak pushes Briley away from the puck. But the Wild have recovered it temporarily with Stubbley. But now Volusiak has got it back for the Hawks. Protecting the puck on his backhand. Attempting to find a centering pass, but that's loose. And it's high up off the glass for Wild, all the way down into the Blackburn zone for Hajek to chase down. Hajek tries to move on to his backhand, now centres oh. for Wyatt. And that was blocked by Kearney Witter, who then wins a stick battle against Joe Wyatt to swing the puck round for Aaron Davies. Davies pass up to centre for Valusiak, across for Parsons. Parsons protecting the puck, tried to find it back for Dixon, but that took a deflection and came all the way back down. Wild change the lines as Blackburn move up through centre. Backhand pass, and this is Pollitt, but he's lost control of the puck. And then Novak turning, had a better chance. 
behind the wild net now with Kemp. Kemp rides his check, plays it to Beach. Beach looking for Volkanov at centre, and it's loose again for Kenny Witter to play it in the zone, hit the ref's feet, and then a Ooh. good shot from, I think, Dickinson. So a few chances here for the Hawks as they collect on defence with Wainwright and Jean-Jack. And then skating backwards is Dickinson, protecting the puck, laying it off for Jean-Jack to play a long cross-ice pass for Novak. But too high, too fast, and it's an icing call again against the Hawks. Yeah, Hawks starting to find their way back into this a little bit. Um, although they're a goal down, you can see that they're testing that witness defence, trying to get through, looking to unlock it and, and have a shot on goal. So far, still 1-0 in favour of the Wild. Hawks win that face-off and flip it up to the point where it came loose to Murray, who took a shot that was right into the chest of Mike Rogers. Of course, the Wild have got to be confident coming in from last week's win over the Senators. Yep, exciting game. Wild were good for the win in that game, I think. And they've started brightly in this one as well. Uh, Robinson tries to control the puck in the Hawks zone, but can't. And the Wild have to come back and uh, make a fresh. This time, Robinson just opts to chip the puck in deep where Blackburn try and reverse, and Pollitt has come off his wing, and so he must go back and recover the puck, but he does so. Gets it up to Novak. Wild coming along with three. Oh, and it's loose for Wainwright, who looked like he had all space at the short side, but I think he hit the side netting there. Best chance for the, of the game for Blackburn. And now, Wild oh. 21 coming up through centre. Could have been a tripping call, but uh, Big Williams keeps his arm down. That was Charnock, uh, always quick, generated that chance for the Wild. The Wild now coming up through, ooh, pass up from uh, Hajek to Britain, and Britain's shot was blocked. Now Hajek with nice moves, and, a, and not enough room for the shot to get away for the Wild. Oh! They spin and throw one back through the crease, but there's no one there, and here's a break now. Ooh. Oh, just missed that. Yeah. Oh, shot on the goalie there from Gary Dixon and Stubbley takes exception to that oh I think Mr Williams is going to be having a word with him there so Dixon chasing down the loose puck with a bit too much enthusiasm yeah the new boots uh, just yeah. trying them out <laughs> uh, he's uh, got away with one there well it, we've seen incidents like that turn ugly in hockey games before I'm sure yeah well certainly when you're trying to do it against the likes of uh, you got Lee Kemp burning down on you <laughs> there's one thing you don't want to be doing so nothing more than a warning from referee Craig Williams and the, fa uh, the face-off will be in the Wilds zone, where Hager oh. managed to get it to Volkanovs, who couldn't kick it up. But then the Wild play it up to Beach, who opts for a long shooting. Gloved down by Rogers, who then plays the puck, but the whistle is gone. It's crazy, George, looking at this from our camera angle here. It just seems that every moment, anywhere near that puck, there's a crowd of players. It's almost like there's yeah. ten aside. Face off on our side. Won by the Wild, and Stubbley Whoa. fired one in, which Whoa. I think has hit Rogers in the mask. That might be why we got the whistle. Yeah, blown dead. So favourable whistle for the Hawks there is a loose puck in, the, in their zone. But uh, Rogers got his uh, helmet off there, just checking, but I'm sure he's fine. So, Hager and Valuziak, I believe, yep, are contesting the face-off, which is controlled by Kenny Witter, who is a hard man to dislodge from a puck, especially when he spreads his legs wide like that. And he manages to get the puck up to centre, but the Wild turn it back round, and now Beach... Oh. looking for Hager, and that puck was flipped up in the air by Aaron Davies, and is now broken down to Volusiak, who gains the wild zone with speed. Tried to pass across, but that hit a loose stick 
and came back out to neutralise. Now we've got a foot race between Wainwright, who should get there first against Volkanovs. He does. He turns. But now Wainwright's under pressure from Beach. Parsons comes in to help out for the Hawks. And that battle's gone on long enough for Craig Williams, who blows the whistle for an offensive zone face-off for the Wild. Well, so far, seven minutes, four remaining in this first period. It's still only Witness Wild 1, Blackburn Hawks nil. Face-off won by the Hawks. And they're bringing it out of the zone with some speed here. But uh, Dickinson then takes the puck at neutral, slows it up, hits Wainwright. Wainwright tries to flip it in deep and then chase Kemp down on the puck. Oh, he manages what? to dislodge the puck from Kemp. And now out front, great yes. chance, great goal. Well, Matt Wainwright made that one. Yeah, fires it away. Wainwright winning the battle behind the goal. The puck gets fed back out in front of the net and it's slotted home, bringing the Blackburn Hawks level here. It's now Witness Wild 1, Blackburn Hawks 1. So as referee goes to drop the puck, and it's Blackburn to win that one. And Michael Novak for the Hawks, looking to bring the puck out once again, which they do, flipping it to centre for Pollitt. Pollitt comes off his skate, and now Pollitt's got time and space for a shot. Knocked down by Walker, loose, and then recovered. And this is Hajek coming up through centre for the Wild. Hajek checked by two Hawks. Everyone ends up in a heap, and the whistle blows. Yeah, Blackburn quick to get back there as soon as Hajek looks like he's going to come down onto the net. And they're doing a great defensive job there, the Hawks. I'll be on coming there. Pressure from uh, Witness. It will be a face-off in the Hawks zone, contested by Clancy and Hager. Oh. Uh, referee not happy with the face-off, so we're going to do it again. Gary Dixon off to the races on that one. But not on this one, because the Wild have recovered it. And it's ended up down low, where Beach goes to work against uh, King and another Hawks defender. And then Volkanov oh, it out in front. <laughs> he hit a skate and uh, almost, the bubble almost pass. went in. Yeah, bubble past Beach there. Riddick now taps one out to neutral. Oh, Ooh, where a mistake. Oh, Murray calmly on the puck with the uh, smooth hands. But unfortunately, it doesn't end up with the Wild. And a long pass up to centre from the Hawks. That breaks down too. So, plays for both teams breaking down now. And a long ring round for Dixon is cut out by Hager. Hager with a good chance. Squares it to Beach, and he just couldn't handle that. For a golden opportunity, it would have been to get his head up and shoot. Now behind the net with Volkanov. He turning, looking up to Wilcox on defence. Wilcox backhands it forward. Oh where a bouncing puck was chopped out by Beach and it went up high to Rogers, but Rogers has now got control of that. Well, dare I say, George, several opportunities there for the Wild, gifted to them, and on every occasion, they uh, failed to uh, undo the ribbon and get that second goal. A few loose passes being thrown around the ice now, so... Let's see if we can... Uh, see if there'll be another goal following from that. That was a low drive from the point that uh, was deflected wide by Rogers. Well, one of our old uh, drop the puck cohorts and uh, founder member, Dave Griffiths, always used to say, you get the puck on net and good things will happen. Yeah, 100%. Wild bringing up now through neutral with Stubbly. Stubbly, the puck just bobbled oh! on him. Oh! <laughs> and nice Ken Armstrong out now for the Wild. Has uh, slung one on. You must have heard your advice, Gary, because he <laughs> slung one from an impossible angle onto Rogers, but Rogers got control of that. Well, he got, I think he got off. three for the pirouette, and, <laughs> but uh, whatever he was trying, I don't think he knew what he was doing, yeah. never mind everybody else. <laughs> Slinging on the net, you never know. They do go in from crazy places sometimes. Well, this is the kind of game where you've got to be careful of any loose change. 
So this is uh, Jean-Jacques, got the puck up to centre, but that was cut out by Brierley smartly, took his man out as well. And now Parsons slings one across the wild zone, and Brierley tries to clear, and that ended up on the stick of, I think, Jean-Jacques again, whose high wrist shot is snagged by Walker in the wild net. Well, there's a little pushing and shoving there. Unfortunately, guys, there's no handbags to dance around on the ice today. <laughs> Referee Craig Williams will make sure that he puts a stop to anything by the look of it. He's got a firm grip of this game. He's expecting it to be physical. And the score still remains with this wild one. Blackburn Hawks one. So, face-off now in the wild zone is won by Britain for the wild. And then backhounded round behind the wild net where Hajek couldn't get control of it. And they reverse it and do eventually clear the zone. Only for Blackburn to go D to D in their own zone and attempt to transition, which they do with a little clip pass up to Novak. Novak goes on to his backhand, tries to get his head up and have a look, manages to turn, manages to feed the point. Now stepping in from the point is Dickinson, Ooh. and a second effort from Dickinson is snagged by Walker. Yeah, Dickinson fancied his chances there, given two bites of the cherry, but comes away with nothing. And it's 3.42 remaining in this first period. Still one apiece. Well, good crowd in today, George. Packed house, Fantastic. as you would expect for a derby game. And I notice a little away, away contingent there on our... On our right, as Volkanov skipped past his man, oh, oh, attempting the back check, and Rogers saved that with his glove, didn't snag it, went over the net, and now on the backhand, Volkanovs, Rogers is down, he's got his seal, made the save, and then a high shot by Volkanovs over the net. Great chances oh. here for the Wild, but eventually one slung on net is loose and grabbed by Mike Rogers. Yeah, Beach just sitting right in front of Rogers, but uh, Mike Rogers manages to get his hand on it and stops the. Uh, the quick pressure that Wilde put him on there. Yeah, that was created by Volkanovs with a good bit of speed, eluding his checker at the at the boards. And then three good chances came of that for the Wild. What can they do here? Not much if they can't win the face-off. And Blackburn have cleared the zone, but it's promptly slapped right back in, where Jean-Jacques has to try and flip it past Volkanovs. And the puck has done a disappearing trick. <laughs> and so we're going for a neutral zone face-off. So a tentative first period so far, George. Yeah. As both sides tested each other out. Yeah, certainly I say the Wild started well. Certainly dominated the opening uh, exchanges, but starting to balance out now, and the score at one all is probably a fair reflection of what we've seen so far this period. As Murray and Dixon come to the near boards to battle for the puck. It's won by the Wild player and dumped into the Blackburn zone, but Blackburn play it up. It breaks down again for the wild defence. So right now, both teams taking it in turns to have broken plays at the neutral zone. And Kearney Witter, his uh, clearance took a deflection and has come out over the glass. Another neutral zone face-off as both teams change lines. Well, it's a lucky memento for somebody there on the uh, side of the rink. And like we said before, pack houses, people all the way around the edge of this rink tonight. Gilbert contesting a face-off for the Wild in the neutral zone, which has been recovered by Blackburn. And Wainwright fanned on his pass, but Ooh. thankfully recovered, and then managed to flip the puck up looking for Valuziak. Uh, Valuziak eventually got control of that and did a cross-ice dump in to the Wild zone. The Wild recover that easily, and another broken play at centre sees the play come across to Ethan Mayo on defence for the Hawks. Across to his partner, Wainwright. And then that stretch pass up to Valusiak was intercepted. And within the space Stubbly. of a minute, another puck yeah. leaves the ice. <laughs> Let's hope they've bought plenty of pucks. It's going to be an expensive day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Briley clears the zone on his backhand to Charnock, but that play breaks down. And a soft dumping on Walker eventually comes all the way around 
to center ice where it's loose and Grimshaw goes into battle. The Wild recover it. Gilbert flips it into the Hawks zone. But they've got a bit of time and a bit of space. So Valuziak can turn and look and turn and come up the middle and beat two four checkers and then just beat the offside and feed Parsons. But there the play breaks down. And a backhand flip out clears the zone where Wainwright has beaten Grimshaw to it and dumped it straight back in for Kemp to recover on defence for the Wild. Now we have Charnock on the wing. Gilbert just evades getting hit and then brings it in with Grimshaw in the centre and attempted a centering pass to Grimshaw but just didn't quite sit on the ice well enough for him to get a hand on. Now Kemp to Wilcox on defence for the Wild as Grimshaw changes. They gain the zone. One minute to play here in this even one-all hockey game. And Hawks gain the zone. Drag move, Novak it comes in oh. close. Oh, and then the backhand shot. Oh. And they got it. I think it's Pollitt. Nice look at the count by the look of it. I think we have a good goal. It looks like Craig Williams is looking for the number. Oh, yeah, he is. He's got the same problem we've got, trying to read the Hawks' numbers. Yeah, it was all bouncing um, around in there. and Could have been Dickinson, could have been Pollitt. It's one of the assistant uh, captains for the Hawks. So it's with this wild one, Blackburn Hawks two. Well, it certainly looked like everybody was standing there wondering whether that was a goal that was going to count. And Mr. Williams puts his arm out and says it's a goal. So the Hawks take the lead here. So Widden is behind now for the first time in this game in the final minute as 40 seconds drains off the clock. And Wilcox, his D to D pass is loose. And so a long dump in on the Hawks netminder. And another loose play up at centre for Wilcox to play up to the wild winger. That play breaks down, and this is Clancy now for the Hawks, skating towards his own goal, turning behind his own net. Coming up, pass up to centre. That play for Riddick was broken down. Riddick then clips it in, 10 seconds on the clock. Yeah, the Hawks will just want to keep this now, stop the wild from getting it. Britain pins in. Riddick into the corner, and then Whoa. came out a shot from Clancy or a a dangerous pass through centre is the last action of that first period. Well, it's been interesting end to end, as uh, George, you pointed out, it was the ice is definitely tilting early on in favour of this Wild, but the Hawks have found a way back into this game and currently lead this end of this first period. It's Witness Wild 1, Blackburn Hawks 2. Join us after this short break. <laughs> Breaks and Sun sponsor drop the puck. Face-off win for the Hawks as Valusiak gets to the blue line, turns back round through the neutral zone, and then palms off to Parsons, who flips one in Ooh. on Walker that was loose for a second and hunted down by Valusiak. Yeah, he just put got fed in very quickly, and he was right on top of the netminder there. Luckily, he defended it well, and the score still remains. One to the Wild, two to the Hawks. Quick reaction, clever little play, but Walker looks hurt. 
Yeah, he's uh, seems to have taken a bit of a hit on that. But uh, the quick reactions there to try and stop the Hawks from taking a very quick lead. Uh, sorry, extra goal in this uh, second period. But, uh, so uh, out comes the medical assistant staff for the Wild. And the crowd today, as we said earlier, packed in. Full house today here at Plant Ice Witness. The travelling fans from Blackburn Hawks as well. So just a little trip down the M6 there to enjoy the splendours of ice hockey from the NIHL. <laughs> well, better than cleaning the car on a Saturday, on a Sunday afternoon, I'd say that. Well, it's starting to get cold, I noticed, George. So uh, if you're going to get cold, why not come to the ice rink? Absolutely. <laughs> My car's filthy because I'm here every week. <laughs> <laughs> Other cars are available. <laughs> <laughs> so Harrison Walker gets to his feet there. He's a medic just checking him out. And hopefully everything will be all right so we can get straight back to some action. In the meantime, uh, George, you, you commented earlier on the fact that Mike Rogers is former Flinch of Phantoms player there. Yeah. How, how are the Phantoms? Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. Trained last night, keeping the numbers high. We are involved helping out with the uh, local um, beginners team, the Pistons. So we've got a shared scrimmage with those guys next week. All together, we're trying to get involved in a thriving hockey scene, really, in Widnes. So any, any of the viewers watching this, if you're interested in nice hockey, you want to get along, and there's some great rec teams available in your area, just uh, go down to your local ice rink, and uh, somebody's bound to point you in the right direction there. You can join many of them, and they're uh, coming at the entry level uh, of ice hockey. And who knows, one day you could be a future star here on Drop the Puck. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, plenty of options to play at Widnes. Now, Walker looks to be coming off here. Uh, Coles has got ready to replace him in the witness net. He was stretching his leg out. He appears not to be moving his right leg, pushing just on the left. And so, could be a groin here. Oh, uh, well, we hope that's not as bad as it looks. Um, nice to see Belusiak uh, offering some assistance there. Yeah. At the end of the day, Warriors on the ice. But they're all here for the same reason, and that's the love of ice hockey. If we get straight back to this. And so it's Evan Coles now replacing Harrison Walker in the wild net, number 39. Oh, a flash face mask. <laughs> stars and Stripes face mask. I'm not quite sure. I can't see it from here. Looks like we might have the Stars and Stripes with an eagle on top. Stretching his legs out. Difficult, difficult task coming. Warm yeah. up over an hour ago now. And uh, it's coming in as the, the Hawks seem to come out in this second period with all guns firing. Now, Hagger and Parsons to contest the face off in the wild zone. Only 15 seconds played of this first period. And the wild swing it around to Volkanovs, who gets it up to centre for Beach. Oh, and the, on the Hagger has recovered oh. the puck in the Hawks zone, but then lost it again. And now Hagger plays down to Beach. Beach turning smartly tries to feed Hagger again, but it's broken up by Davies. Davies gets it to centre for Parsons. Parsons flips one in on Cole. That goes behind, ends up behind the net, where it's recovered by Volusiak, who played it out front looking for Davies. And smart defensive play by Hagger to intercept for the Wild. The Wild uh, break it out as far as centre, where Blackburn are offside entering the Wild zone. Uh, both teams, you would think, would change their lines as they do. Yeah, Hagger has definitely got his head in a swivel, definitely coach material there, isn't he? You can tell it's quick yeah. back to help his defence out and played the smart play, stopping the Hawks from taking advantage of that loose puck. Yeah, you've got to back check when you play a coach. No <laughs> excuses, pull your weight. <laughs> now, a long dump in from the Hawks is Cole's first touch, which he blockers away into the corner. And the Wild with Gilbert pressuring Pollitt, but Pollitt recovers, turns, uses time and space to backhand a pass up to centre, where not back to the Hawks' defence, and now Ethan Mayo bringing up, but he lost the puck. And the play breaks down, only for the Wild to recover. Gilbert 
up to Robinson. Robinson winds up as if to shoot, but then passes to Charnock. Charnock goes in backhand, oh. and he went high on Rogers, and Rogers didn't see it. Yeah, just trying to flick it over there. Looking to just thread the needle on that uh, over the shoulder of Mike Rogers, but no luck. And now a loose pass has flipped over the Hawks defenseman stick and gone all the way down to Rogers. Plays it back to his defenseman. They go D to D to Wainwright. And now uh, Pollitt tries a move at his own blue line. That broke down, and then Charnock flipped one in. Hajek chasing down. Stubbly took a shot that uh, didn't get through. And the Wild come all the way back to regroup with Britain. Britain to Stubbly. Stubbly generates speed. Gets moving, gets onto his backhand, goes wide, drives wide on Wainwright, gets the puck in deep. But it breaks down, and Blackburn recover with Wainwright. Now up to centre for Pollitt. Pollitt tries a move on Stubbly, but Stubbly blocks that out. And the puck is still in the wild zone, with Novak now protecting the puck on his backhand against Stubbly. And we've got our first penalty. Stubbly... A bit too lively with the stick there in yeah. bringing down Novak. Novak's drawn a penalty. Yeah, he's right in front of the uh, Blackburn Hawks fans as well. They're jeering him. But we get the first penalty of our game. As uh, Stubbly is it led to the penalty box. And Protesting his innocence all yeah, the way. And he's handed... The Wild have now handed the Hawks an opportunity here. The power play and a chance to... Uh, extend their lead if they can so interesting setup here for the wild Kenny Witter defenseman usually looks like he's lining up to be net front presence Dickinson who's got two goals already tonight looks like he's going to quarterback this in what would normally be the defenseman's position and it's loose in the glove of Cole smart little snap close of the glove quick shot from the face off from I think it was Davies took the shot Looks like the Hawks have got something set up again, haven't they? Yeah, plenty of firepower out there. Now, Kenny Witter, a weak backhand. Now Dickinson recovers and wheels through the zone. He will drop it for Aaron Davies. And the Hawks look set up. And that was a backdoor feed for Clancy. That would have been a goal, no problem. The Wild come away with it now. And Beach, oh! Beach just feathered a pass in. Uh, towards the streaking Volkanovs. Volkanovs missed the pass, didn't miss Rogers, and took the Hawks goalie into the net. <laughs> well, the Wild have got to fight to get back into this, but they're a man down at the moment. Need to play smart hockey, defensive hockey, but we know what they're like when they're... They, they like to score the short-handed goals. Yeah. So... Short-handed goal last week, if I recall. Yeah. Um, so and that was certainly a quick uh, quick transition there. But the Hawks will play clever. Forwards out now for the Wild are Gilbert and Charnock. And Charnock's pretty speedy. Uh, this is Valusiak though, for the Hawks, bringing it up into the Wild zone. Pollock drops it back for Valusiak. He's got Wainwright with him in defensive position, but he opts to shoot himself. Easy grab for Evan Coles. Seems to be seeing the puck well in his start. Yeah, Belusiak obviously saw the, a route to goal there. Took the opportunity, but it's well covered up. You would think perhaps moving it, moving the puck sideways to Wainwright, who looked ready to take a shot. Yeah, he looked like, like he was forced the goalie to do a bit more movement. Maybe increase your chances of getting something through, but uh, that's a thought for next time. Um, the puck has just eluded Gilbert out at centre for the Wild, which means that Pollock now can bring up through centre for the Hawks. And the Hawks have gained the zone, but a nice little turnover by, I think that's Furlong, who has then cleared the zone and sent the puck the length of the ice. Wild change a D-man. They've got Briley and Wilcox out now on D with Charnock and Gilbert. Nice cross pass and Parsons Ooh. for the Hawks. Um, didn't get much on his shot. Which went wide of Evan Coles' post. Loose puck now is shut down by Wainwright. And now Volusiak with a bit of space. Walking high on the line and his high wrist shot went over the net. 
And then a miscommunication between James Riddock and the other Hawks forward is that the play is broken down. Penalty now, five seconds left before Stubbley is released from his cage. And we're back to full strength. And a good kill there by the Wild. A couple of chances for the Hawks, but uh, nothing seriously threatening. Now Pollitt has taken down Briley in the corner, and Novak, who won that penalty, oh. turning, oh, got the puck up to centre for Cade King. And King lost the control of the puck. Now the Hawks working at centre. Hawks looking lively to start to this second. Novak once more. Hard to dislodge from the puck, but Furlong's managed it and got the puck up to the point for King. King's kick of the puck missed it. And now Dickinson comes all the way back and collects and then sends a high one up, which I think hit Volkanov. And Volkanov's been hit low, probably mistakenly by Clancy, but the delayed penalty for the Wild. Wow. And then a very early whistle, which you would think with Hager streaking in. As quick as you like, power play switches hands now, and the see uh, Blackburn Hawks have handed an opportunity with this Wild, who are now have the man advantage, and can they make that pay, George? They need the points on the board. So the Hawks' power play yielded about three shots, I think. Can the Wild do better? They've got Volkanov lined up on the point with Gilbert, Britton and Charnock as forwards and Stubbley on the other point but the Hawks wheeling in their own zone dangerous play, giveaway, Stubbley oh. couldn't finish save I think by Rogers. and now it's Parsons bringing up but he's lost the puck for the Hawks and meaning that Valuz Val 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 Valuziak, sorry, had to come and shut down that play and the Wild now have gained the zone and got it back to Charnock. Charnock bumps it off the boards for Stubbley. Stubbley's shot was blocked right the way up in the nets. Uh, well, still 2-1 Hawks. Yeah, 13-14 remaining in this second period. The Hawks, the ice certainly tilted in the favour of the Hawks as we came out. But the Wilds starting to come back into this a little bit. I think, George, the idea the Hawks uh, are getting too much of the puck. They're being allowed time on it. The Wilds have got to try and get that puck off and keep them off it. Wild looking to set up their power play so they can get a bit of time and space. So they've got now with Charnock. And Charnock plays it up to the point to Stubbley. Stubbley had to readjust, oh. and he gets a long shot in. Oh, and it's an open oh. shot for Volkanovs, and that's how it's done. Well, a scrappy bit of play there as the puck came, came loose, it came across the Volkanovs, and uh, he manages to slot it home. We just managed to see the celebrations there in the replay. But... He gives the Wild here a vital goal. It's now Witness Wild 2, Laffern Hawks 2. So, all square as we approach the middle midway point of this second period. Well, it goes again there, George, you're saying loose change, you've got to pick it up. And then. Uh, well, Vlad the Impaler was there, ready to stab that pickle home, and he did it. And it's given uh, a bit of a lifeline now to the Wild. Almost Halloween, so I think we can start making the, uh, the Halloween jokes, can we? Parsons in, high shot, gloved Ooh. over the net by Coles. <laughs> and now, back with speed, Hager got Kearney Witter blocking his way. Oh. Low shot on the pad, oh, second again. shot for Volkanovs. Another save, Rogers, double save for Mike Rogers immediately after conceding a goal. And the Wild suit to have found that second gear. Wilcox looking for Volkanovs up at centre. It went loose, but Hager comes back to recover for the Wild. Now Volkanovs and Hager down low, working the puck. Volkanovs coming out in front. Many sticks and a hit send him to the ice, and Rogers collects the loose puck. And the tempo has gone up. <laughs> we expected that, though, George. It's getting lively. First two periods, and as Ben would say, 
He's salivating the very thought of goals and fights. But <laughs> not allowed to say the word tasty, see, George. Oh, I see. I... <laughs> it's <Wow>. trademarked. <laughs> I got so excited during that shot that I've spilled coffee on my shoes, so <laughs> it's uh, game on here, 2-2, two -two. exciting game now. Brierley takes a big hit from Dickinson, and now Dickinson and Brierley on a foot race into the corner. Is Brierley going to try and revenge it? No, he plays the passing lane and oh, cleverly well blocked. blocked the pass that Dickinson attempted to centre. But then Wainwright intercepts as the Wild uh, tried to bring out. And a battle between Stubbly and the Hawks player. The Hawks player takes a spill. And Craig Williams has blown his whistle here. Uh, safety first, Mr. Williams. Yeah, it looks like it was uh, definitely Michael Nova hitting the ice there as he lost his foot into the boards. Uh, no penalty on the play, but the face-off is down in the wild zone. Evan Coles replaced Harrison Walker in net in this game. Walker gone off with an injury. Coles perfect so far. But that's an icing call that's coming all the way back into the wild zone. Quick recap of this halfway point. Yeah, 11.53 remaining in this, in this uh, second period. It's Black, Wild, it's wild 2, Black Bear Hawks 2. Uh, a lively affair, to say the least. Now, Gilbert and Novak contest the face-off. The Wild come away with Briley behind his own net. Up to Robinson, who just flips the puck out to neutral. And Matthew Wainwright flips it straight back in. Stubbly goes back to recover. And he tries to find his winger, but Robinson was still out of the defensive zone, which means that he and Gilbert have to go back and get in a stick battle for the puck, which they do. And Stubbly then attempts to come out on the other side of the ice. That breaks down, but here's Charnock. Legs moving through centre, winds up. Whoa. High shot over the net. Loose all the way back for the Wild to go D to D again between Stubbly and Kemp. Kemp back to Stubbly. Stubbly turns, flips one up through centre, which Rogers left. No icing call on the plate. And now Dickinson attempts a stretch pass up for the Hawks, which was way ahead of the, of the winger. Now Britain, what can he do for the Wild? Bring it across the zone, drop past the Hajek. Hajek wheels and deals, a couple of attempts to push him off the puck, but is strong and manages to get it in low for Joe Wyatt to go behind the Hawks net for the Wild. But his centering pass was loose, and here's Dickinson taking it in on two defence. Backhands it to Novak. Novak winds Ooh. up and tried to go short side on Coles, and Coles has been busy with the gloves since he's come on. Yeah, the uh, very narrow gap there. He obviously fancied his chances. But Coles slams the door shut in a very small opportunity. And the score still remains with this wild two, Blackburn Hawks two. 10 28 remaining in the period. Hager back out for the face off for the wild uh, against Clancy. And that one has gone the way of Blackburn. Wilcox aggressive on James Riddick for the Hawks in the corner. And the puck eventually comes out to Volkanovs. Volkanovs tries to skip by Warnock. Didn't quite work out for him. And a soft throw in comes all the way down to Rogers in the Hawks net. The Hawks defence evade the wild four checkers and attempt to play a long parallel pass up, which is recovered by Dixon. Dixon out centre for Clancy. Didn't quite get past him. And now Murray battling for the puck has got it up to Volkanovs at the half boards. But his clearing attempt eventually makes the zone and now Wilde come up with numbers. It's Hager, Beach and Volkanovs. Oh, well, Hager sent a, uh, a fizzing pass at about knee height across to Volkanovs who tried to bat it out of the air. And I tell you what, if he'd have connected with that, that would have been something. Volkanovs, meanwhile, pins... Valusiak, I believe, or is it uh, Warnock into the corner? And the Wild come out with it in Beach, attempting to centre for Hager. That's broken up by the Hawks. But Beach once again 
finding himself in all kinds of scrappy situations but preventing the Hawks from coming away with it but they eventually do and once again it breaks up and beats oh, now up to Gilbert he's got Haggard through the centre Gilbert looks Haggard yeah. yes great pass great finish well textbook play there the puck breaks loose Gilbert takes it down the side looks for Haggard feeds it across he slots it home nicely and gives the Wild an extended lead here now it's now with this Wild 3 with the uh, Blackburn Hawks 2 we've got a game in our hands here now absolutely George. no chance for Rogers there classic 2 on uh, 2 on 0 play Hager going wide onto his forehand presenting the pass for Gilbert no mistake well game on the Wild had a lead lost it and now they've got it back again well, and there's an injury here at centre ice between well, Robinson Robinson and what looks Tarkison. like it could be well, Aaron, Aaron Davis. Davis has gone down they both look hurt. Look like an innocent collision. Well, both staying down though. So, was it knee on knee possibly? Hard to say. But there's certainly uh, either way. It's we don't like it when guys get hurt. I think they may not have seen each other. So it may have been a blind collision. And Robinson... Jay, Jay at the best of times, is a, is a big target. You wouldn't yeah. want to be running into him. Hopefully, they're both OK. And then we'll probably see them back on the ice shortly. But either way, they're going to they're gonna go off and get some treatments. So Wild need an extra skater on here. Davies looks like he's staying on for the Hawks. And the Wild have sent on Britain. Davies is a warrior. He wouldn't go off. <laughs> And I don't, so, mean, I don't mean Whitley Warrior, I mean... Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a hawk, Gary. I know he is. Um, and here he is on the puck in the corner, being bodied by Briarly, who has come out with the puck, swung it all the way around for Britain, but it was out of Britain's reach, and the Hawks' defence get it back in deep. Now Dixon taking a look, coming out from behind the uh, Hawks' net. Sorry, that was a Valusiak, not Dixon. Once again... The puck held up in the corner now. Two Hawks, two Wild battling for it. Up to the oh. point to Jean Jack. Jean Jack's shot didn't get through. Stopped by Briarly. Yeah, Kenny Witter there stops yeah. that going any further. Witter at centre ice turns it back round. But now the Wild with numbers. It's Gilbert winding up. Shoots, but blocked by Witter. And then Charnock evading one, evading two, loses the puck. And Pollitt, oh. nice little death pass up at centre, releases. Is Dickinson now for the hat-trick? Low shot, oh. good save, Coles. Oh, and the rebound came to Pollitt and skipped and over And there we go, stick. the other way, Hadjek. So Hadjek on his own with a strong dump in that's reversed it all the way round and allows the Hawks to come up through centre, which they do with Novak. He's stick-checked by Wilcox and then bodied into the corner by Wilcox. Never mind, Pollitt has the puck for the Hawks and he reverses it back into the other corner but the Wild now come away through centre with Joe Wyatt that's shut down by Wainwright Wainwright backhands it back into the corner for the Wild defence to bring up Hajex cross ice clearance is loose recovered by Wainwright who pushes his man down then rides a check keeps battling and has managed to get it down low now to James Riddick. Riddick has knocked it down behind the wild net where the defence struggling to clear it big hit, hands up and that's going to be a clear call uh, reckless play you want to ask why really that was on Pollitt by Murray and he had his hands up in Pollitt's face so that's going to be a pretty easy Possibly charging call, possibly roughing. Well, he's going to the box. Craig Williams showing him where he needs to go. And the witness Wild, even though they have the lead now, has handed an opportunity to the Hawks. They get the power play and the man advantage. With 6.34 remaining in this period. Witness Wild 3, Blackburn Hawks 2. And the Wild now got to play defensive. 
So difficult spot here for the Wild. They've just taken the lead, and now they need to defend short-handed. So it's Parsons now for the Hawks with a bit of time and space. We know he loves to pass. Finds Wainwright, and Wainwright, nice low wrist shot once more well, in the glove of Coles. There's a combination connection we were used to in many years of drop the puck. The D side connection. Yeah. Uh, Gary Dixon, of course, you can add, to, add into that mix. Former D side Dragons playing for Blackburn Hawks. Volkanovs brings a long one round, but it doesn't clear the zone. Wainwright puts it straight back in for the Hawks. And now James Riddick, backhand up to the oh. point, but it's slipped past Pollitt. And Riddick muttering to himself as he comes back to set everything back up again. Pollitt backhands one across the ice to Wainwright. And Wainwright goes off the boards, but that's cut off by Wil Wilcox to Volkanovs. And Volkanovs bounces one off to centre, where Pollitt looks to set things up for the Hawks again. Uh, Pollitt to Parsons. Parsons' cross-ice pass was knocked down with a stick at centre ice. And, and there's a bit of crashing and banging on the boards here, but the upshot of everything is that the Hawks clear the zone again, and that with over a minute gone in this power play, I beg your pardon, the Wild have cleared the zone, the Hawks are struggling to set up. What can Valusiak do now? He can turn, generate a bit of space, go onto his backhand, protect the puck, Skate down into the corner, turn again, find Clancy. Clancy tried an angled high shot that uh, wasn't anywhere near the net. And now Dickinson, oh, oh lined up for the pass. Oh, lovely feed inside oh, by Belusiak. Oh. Unlucky. Kenny yeah. Witter now doing the net front presence, yeah, using his strength to recover the puck. He'll be kicking himself there, an opportunity missed. Another save, Coles. Sticks a drive from the point, back behind the net. Looking dangerous here, the Hawks. Lofted pass up to the point where Davies plays to Dickinson. Dickinson, low shot. We've got five seconds left on the penalty, thereabouts. Clancy now, behind the net. And Murray is released for the Wild. They have killed the penalty, but the danger not over. Dickinson plays it to Aaron Davies. Aaron Davies, hard pass through the top of the crease. Turning, Valusiak feeds across. He generated the best chance on that dangerous-looking power play. A couple of good chances, and Beach has got it up now to Murray, and Murray's got Gilbert if he looks quickly to oh. centre, but he played it too near to Mike Rogers in the Hawks' net. Well, the Wild done well riding out that pressure from the Hawks. Yeah, Hawks went to sleep a little bit after the power play was over. Very nearly found themselves conceding. Kemp now has cleared the zone for the Wild. And Valusiak, who seems to be... Oh, no, sorry, beg your pardon, that's Warnock. I was going to say Valusiak seems to be all over the place, but if it isn't Valusiak, that might be why I think he's all over the place. <laughs> uh, now we've got Pollock coming up. Oh, nice shot. High shot, probably going over, but Coles puts it in the glove anyway. Well, Coles has um, done OK so far in this uh, second period as he steps in. Nice, the pressure stepped up a little bit, and he's managed to soak it up OK. Wild defence doing a great job there on the um, short-handed uh, power play protection, if you like. But it's um, currently... The, the Blackburn Hawks are uh, certainly looking to unlock that defence, George, and yep. try and get another goal before the end of this period. A lovely turn, Charnock, and he almost fed one of the incoming wild forwards, but Mike Rogers alive with the stick. Always good to see a goalie with a lively stick, ready to see an intercept passes, and now everyone is hugging in the corner. <laughs> oh, friends. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Craig Williams has put a stop to that and uh, reset everything with a face-off in the Hawk zone. Three minutes and 17 seconds left of this second period with the Wild leading by a goal. And the Wild retain the puck and it's gone from in. a narrow angle. Oh, wow. Hager. <laughs> and Rich Hager. Take your hat off, sir, as he gets the opportunity. The puck's fed back to him, and from that byline there, fires it straight across, deflecting to the back of the net off the netminder, and gives the Wild an extended lead here. It's now with this Wild four, Blackburn Hawks two. 
Well, we said in the first period, didn't we? Uh, you sling them on net, and sometimes improbable things can happen, and that's worked out very well there for Hager. Well, you would not put money on summer scoring from that kind of angle, but Rich Hager finds a way, and he's given a bit of a gap and a breather here going towards the end of this period. Now, James Riddick looking to get one back for the Hawks up at centre, but he's forced to turn under the attention of Furlong. Well, this is it and now, George. Will, will the Hawks get a little yeah. bit silly and try all sorts of... too much and, and open themselves up? Now, shot by Furlong. That was going wow. in, and that was blocked by... Mike Rogers up high and it's remaining in the Hawks zone where Kenny Witter is eating alive yeah, one Hadjik. of the wild players yeah Hadjik <laughs> uh, Hadjik disappeared from view for a second there <laughs> and uh, it comes all the way down to the wild zone and now they reverse it but it's a loose puck and Wyatt must chase Jean-Jacques into the Hawks corner Wayne right now passing long stretch pass up to Dixon Dixon looks oh. centers to Parsons Parsons still got it in his skates turns oh. fires save Cole or did that hit the side of the net yeah now Volkanovs then clears the zone for the wild so and the Hawks have got to play smart hockey if they want to get back into this yeah. action on the wild net right now as the Hawks pushing to get back within one. Oh, backhand play from Aaron Davies and a jam play close in from Parsons. Oh, on Parsons! Oh, and here we that's going to draw a bit of a crowd. And Parsons trying to slam that puck home. Coles skates away. Several whacks from Parsons towards the skate of Coles. Uh, the puck was in there. He was trying the to hammer the gone. nail home. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Looks like the Wild are going to be penalised for the reaction. That's Briley going to the box. And Parsons is to the box as well for the uh, Hawks. Ah, two in. So those two might well cancel themselves out. And we will see. Roughing both, says Mr Williams. So that's... Four on four, we believe. As uh, number four for the Wild, Briley, and number five for the Hawks. Aaron Davis, Parsons. Uh, asking uh, the official. The face off, you would think. Yeah, would we'll be down whistle here. Whistle was for a frozen puck, would come all the way back down, allowing the Hawks uh, an opportunity to continue the pressure that they were enjoying. Bit so, more open ice. Bit of open ice now. <laughs> Four on four. Davies very low position on the face-off, but he didn't win it. And the Wild have come up with it, where Volkanovs at centre ice plays it back to Wilcox. Wilcox stepping through centre, turns on his man, gets high, oh! shoots, save Rogers, bats it into the corner. But the Wild with Volkanovs cycling it back down to Beach, cycling it to Volkanovs. Got it turning around. Now Volkanovs steps out and takes a shot, but that was wider than net. Goes all the way around to Stubbley on the point for the Wild. His feed to the centre is deflected and Volkanovs recovers it and gets back to work down low. Feeds up to Wilcox. Wilcox back down low to Beach. Beach stick handling, feathered oh. a nice soft pass to the back door for Stubbley. Stubbley couldn't handle that though. Now Volkanovs looking for Beach in the centre. Oh, oh and a well, narrow backhand shot from Beach was loose. But the refs obviously lost sight of it and blew the whistle. Yeah, the uh, the Hawks quick to defend it there. Well, like Aaron Davis was uh, quick to protect his netminder and that puck from the uh, from the pressure of uh, Volkanovs who was standing over it. But the score still remains here with 47 seconds remaining in this period. With this wild four. Blackburn Hawks 2. Both teams playing 4-on-4 four four for the remainder of this period. Hawks bring it up to centre with Kearney Witter. Wide to Pollitt. Seconds left oh. on the clock now. 30 seconds to play. Witter had the chance again there. And now the Wild coming back. With a shot from Wilcox, which was blocked by Jean-Jacques, I think. And then Witter turns himself into trouble. The trouble was Charnock, but the trouble's been knocked off its feet. 
And now the Hawks coming through centre with Pollitt over the blue line. Drops it off for Novak. Novak turns inside his man, looks, there's no pass there. So he swivels back round. Takes a look, tries to feed Kenny Witter. Kenny Witter deftly bats the puck from behind him to his forehand. The whistle blows, and the Wilds are taking control in this second period. Well, interesting period. Things certainly got lively. The score changed hands, or the lead, should we say, changed hands, and it looked like Blackburn Hawks were coming out in this second period with all guns blazing. It looked like they were going to take a firm grip of it, but it's a witness wild that takes the lead going into this second period break with the score here. Witness while four, Blackburn Hawks two, join us right after this short break. <laughs> Breaks and Sun's sponsor drop the puck. Well, welcome back to this third period uh, where the score currently stands at Witness Wild 4 at Blackburn Hawks 2. George, an exciting th second period. Three unanswered goals yep. uh, from Witness Wild. Um, Blackburn Hawks going to struggle to get back into this as we find we come into this third period both teams playing with four players 24 minutes remaining on uh, 24 seconds sorry 24 minutes 24 seconds remaining on the penalties um, what would you be saying if you were the coach of Blackburn Hawks in that dressing room well uh, let's not take any penalties for a start because the uh, the Wild turned the game round so far on a, on the power play, so they need five skaters on the ice if they're going to win this game. Um, I think they need to play the way they've been playing. I mean, I think they've had plenty of good chances. It's been relatively even. Um, would you, they would had you? good chances on their own power play, so hopefully yeah. they hang on and, and get another advantage. There's a couple of scraps that they failed to knock in uh, that were sitting yeah. right in front of the yeah. wild goal. So um, a bit of puck luck, maybe. Yeah. On the so, other hand, witness wild though, Rich Hager. It's like counter attacking, yeah. and they're very good at it when they get the opportunity. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they took the lead 3 2 in that period, the wild. And then they had to kill the penalty off, which they did effectively. And then Hager shows his awareness and his experience with the, uh, the uh, close angle shot. So 4-2, um, two goals to the good, Widnes Wild. Well, the fans are certainly getting behind them uh, for this third and final period as the puck drops. Uh, Wild now shooting in the yellow jerseys from left to right and coming up through centre now on the fresh ice sheet with Volkanovs lovely move on his man back oh. wide we haven't seen him uh, get through get past the defenceman in that way but he has caused problems with his speed Volkanovs well he got that first goal in the second period and Parsons and Briley back out and we've got an injury to Volkanov oh. he's been hit up high is he touching his neck there well, as soon as the uh, the horses are out the gate <laughs> for that penalty ending, and play stops. So with 19:23 remaining in this third and final period, the score still remains. Witness Wild four, Blackburn Hawks two. Back to five on five. It's Gilbert and Valusiak contesting the face off, but the zebras are unhappy. So it's all going to happen again. And 
this time Gilbert manages to win it and the Hawks uh, sorry the Wild beg your pardon flip it down everything breaks down and it comes up to the Wild defence and now nice turning play whoa Stick Charnock Stick nearly made it into the crowd <laughs> um, that's that's all broken down, and now um, Volkanovs has found Parsons. Parsons, all oh, low shot, just gloved down by Evan Cole. Well, believe Great it or chance. not, the uh, opportunity missed, and uh, shot fired on Cole's. Uh, he manages to cover it up, but the Hawks quick to counter. But Charnock there doing a bit of baton twirling with his stick. <laughs> manages to catch it as well. And he <laughs> uh, they tell you to keep your eyes on the puck, but they don't say anything about the sticks. <laughs> now, the Wild uh, chasing down Hawks defenseman into the zone, uh, who's turned and got the zone clear, but it comes to Wilcox on defence for the Wild. And uh, now Hajek turning, gains the zone. Britain, whoa took a flippy shot from the blue line which was easily gloved by Mike Rogers in the Hawks net well before we were saying about if people are interested in getting into hockey of course one of the other things that people could get into if they weren't interested in actually playing a physical contact of course is officiating always always a need for good officials sometimes feels like a bit of a thankless task I'm sure but um, you get to see all the beautiful ice rinks of the United Kingdom um, with your petrol money and a little bit of pocket money paid as well <laughs> and uh, you get the best seats in the house well you don't get a seat actually do you well you get the best you seat get the best house. view though that's for sure um, so yeah why not give it a go I might give it a go myself one day Ooh. Uh, Wainwright's kicked a puck at neutral up to his own stick and uh, everything breaks down and now now the Hawks come across the, the, the Widney's line with Dickinson wheeling dealing turning Shooting! Oh, he just got it off the stick of Parsons. A dangerous-looking deflection, but it didn't go anywhere near. Now Parsons steadies, oh. plays to Dickinson, and there's a high flippy shot. Oh, oh Hadjek's away for the Wild. Here he goes, legs moving, gets it under control. Yeah. Low shot past Rogers. 5-2 Wild. Well, an opportunity there. Blackburn Hawks thought they were going to put one in, but the rebound comes out. Hadjek picks it up, fires it home on one-on-one -on -one attempt, and it's now with this wild five. Blackburn Hawks two. Well, interesting there, George. Hawks thought they had that opportunity to slot that home there. They were lining it up. But as he bounced yeah. out, Hadjek quick to pounce on him. And uh, he's made it pay. Always a risk when you need that goal that you're going to get caught on the break. Yeah. And Hadjek just had the speed. Well, it's like we're saying in the uh, just pay. before the period starts, counter-attacking seems yeah. to be one of the things that Wild are really good at. Uh, which makes it very difficult when they get a lead even harder now as the Hawks chase a three goal deficit uh, Kenny Witter long pass up to centre now to Valusiak it's come loose to him oh and he tried to go high on Evan Coles and missed the net glorious chance for Valusiak after the long cross ice pass from Kenny Witter Kenny Witter's got it in the neutral zone now tried to get it in deep into the wild zone but Lee Kemp has uh, cut that off for the Wild. Lee Kemp accidentally hit the skirt of his own net, which has made things a bit messy. But Volkanov, who's recovered from his earlier knock, Ooh. has now kicked it loose to Beach. Beach, lovely backhand pass to Hager. Hager looking oh. for the hat-trick. Low shot on Rogers. Rogers is down, though, and the seal is good. Knocks it to the corner. Now the Hawks come away with it, but they don't. As Furlong gets it deep and receives a hit for his trouble. Oh, loose pass from Kenny Witter to Gilbert. Gilbert then didn't have room to move inside, but he's found Charnock behind the net. Charnock looking for Robinson. Robinson angle too great, so he turns up to the point for Stubbly. Stubbly's shot blocked by Riddick. Riddick in some discomfort there. Oh, and he's out front for Gilbert. Gilbert couldn't quite get a handle right in front of Rogers. Rogers down back up now and a bit of time and space this time for Kenny Witter to try and clear the zone for the Hawks and apparently he did clear the zone Stubbly didn't think so and shot it back in on Rogers. but looks like we're going to have a neutral zone face off 
The discussion is a short one. The refs, as we know, are always right. <laughs> and that goes in any game, Absolutely. including Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> Kids, if you're listening at home. <laughs> So, um, face off, I think probably for the argument's sake, comes all the way down, that'll teach you, um, into the wild zone, where a shot on Coles is padded away into the corner, and now Gilbert gets his legs moving and comes oh, what up. what a pass! Almost found Charnock. Uh, Charnock collects the puck deep in the Hawks zone. Gets it right the way up to the point where Briley backhands it in. And now, a warning, because the Hawks have got two men up at centre. It's Clancy. Oh, Clancy managed to get a shot away. It wasn't the ideal shot, and it was padded away by Coles. Yeah, a little bit lame, wasn't it? And then Clancy manages to get it back down deep into the Hawks zone. We've got a delayed penalty here. And uh, Hawks have got six men out now. Lutwich, who we've not seen much of at the point for Blackburn has got it down low for Davies Davies looking to centre for Dickinson Dickinson loose puck hit by Gilbert still no whistle back in the corner Hawks got the extra man now and that was a loose puck there for Davies and battling for the whistle was the wild defenceman Murray managed to finally get the whistle we'll see what the call is here and is it on Murray again? Looks like he's heading to the box. No, it's Briley, number four. Oh, is it? Who only just got out uh, earlier in the period. He's gone back in. This time, though, it will be advantage to the Hawks. So it's still warm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <it's> still. <laughs> he must have, uh, must have enjoyed his little spot there. Yeah. Keep that coffee, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, four skaters for the Wild, five for the Hawks. And Volkanovs turning, pinned against the whole half boards. Sorry, Valusiak for the Hawks, with Volkanovs watching him. Valusiak tries to centre for the Hawks, but that didn't work. And then nice active stick by Murray. Oh! Broke things up and whoa! Well, what were the chances that of that? <laughs> went through a gap in the glass. Um, you won't see that very often. Yeah. There's a very, very small gap in the yeah. penalty box where the door is. The puck flew along and just manages to catch the edge and fly back in. But uh, neutral zone face-off then. There's uh, 25 seconds of this penalty been killed. And now Volkanovs. Oh, we know go. the short-handed threat. In on his man and turns and shoots and scores. Well, we said they could do it. Just as they're playing there, short-handed, Bulkanovs picks up that puck, comes in from the right of the netminder and slots the puck straight into the back of the net, extends the lead here for Witness Wild. It's now Witness Wild 6, Blackbear Hawks 2. Uh, tough break for the Hawks here. Their best chance of getting back into the game on the advantage and they find themselves another goal down. Wild win the uh, face-off at centre ice. Uh, Wilcox flips the puck up through the neutral zone. Davies still another minute and 15 seconds on this Hawks power play. Kearney Witter out as a forward on the power play. Net front presence, but he's going to have to build... He's going to have to uh, actually get the puck set up in the wild zone for that tactic to work out and uh, Dickinson with speed is making it happen and then turning and shooting Dickinson looking for a hat-trick of course and now he's back with Dickinson at the point he winds, he fires oh. uh. hit a stick in front knocked down Dickinson recovers it and then plays it across to Davies at the other point and a shot in is blocked and Murray looking to clear for the wild but Dickinson found Kearney Witter on the net front presence and his backhand attempt hit a stick has gone over into the crowd uh, where the wild player politely asks for it back and uh, looks like whoever's down there said nope my puck <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
but it's okay. They found a fresh puck, so we're going to have a face-off in the wild zone. Costing a lot in rubber today. That's the third one today. A fourth, I think. Is it? Yeah. Right. The kit manager will not be happy. <laughs> um, and Wilcox has just given his uh, Hawks player a spill. But the Hawks have recovered the puck and they settle it down now, which looks like Parsons across to Wainwright. Wainwright shot, oh. labelled for the top shelf, but... Yeah, Evan Parsons Coles. looks like he was coming in from the from the side there. Opportunity missed. 13.05 remaining in this third and final period. 12 seconds on a penalty. And it's still with this wild, leading 6-2 over the Vapor Hawks. Evan Coles, since he came on, has seen everything and has grabbed everything. Played He's well. done well. Yeah. So, excellent start for the uh, replacement. His, his mum will be proud. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Dickinson has just uh, fanned on a one-timer and the puck has been flipped all the way down to Wainwright who will go back and start everything up again with a long stretch looking for Parsons who was so high up. And now Beach found Whoa. Volkanovs looking for his hat-trick. Uh, we've got two for Volkanovs, two for Hager, so a couple of wild players here looking for a hat-trick, but cross-ice pass to Riddick for the Hawks. Riddick brings it in the zone, takes it onto the backhand. He's lacking support here, though, so he, he needs to turn, and Briley, good defensive play, good body position, oh, bodies him play. off the puck. It's up to Gilbert. Gilbert! Oh. oh, tried to go high glove side, and he missed the net on Rogers. What an Fantastic opportunity. chance. Things really opening up here as the Hawks push to get a goal creating opportunities for the wild now Valusiak for the Hawks gained the zone but it all broke down and now oh. tap pass to Kenny Witter by Beach Beach coming in looking for his man good stick play oh what a goal <laughs> but it came loose to Stubbly yeah no mistake nice play by Beach he tries to feed it across it gets blocked out but right in the way Stubbly slams that puck home and extends the lead again here for Widdeswild. It's now Widdeswild 7. Lapin Hawks 2. Well, you would never have thought it was going to go this way, but we did say the Hawks are going to have to do something, George, to try and get back on the board. But it's left themselves wide open in areas, and that counter attack of the Wilds is a killer. And when you've got the likes of Beach and Hager burning down on you, yep. it's hard. Yep, they are a speedy team, and you can sense they smell blood when you've got uh, defensemen like Stubbly jumping up into the play. Yeah, Coach Clancy there was just giving the uh, giving the orders to the Blackburn Hawks. Wild, pretty much it's the cheerful bench. It's much the same. Keep it going, boys, but... Um, Blackburn Hawks, they know they've got the opportunities. Ollie Lomax there as well, shouting out the orders. These two are going to meet themselves again in regular league action, but this cup game's turned out to be a real derby battle. And it's all tilting in favour in this third period, in favour of the Witness Wild. So, the face-off at centre ice, Gilbert and James Riddick, and the puck has gone right back down into the wild zone where Wilcox plays to Charnock, Charnock holds the puck against the boards and then wheels behind his own net, goes onto the backhand to evade his four-checker, plays nice hands, weaving and dealing, kicking to himself, still got it Charnock, Charnock nice move and Dixon holding him all over the place. Dixon just happy to take a penalty. Oh, so shorthanded now the Hawks uh, to add to their woes, chasing five goals in this game. So Gary Dixon Not the way to do it. into the penalty box gives hands over the power to uh, Witness Wild to get that extra man advantage now, the very thing that Blackburn do not need find themselves five goals behind in this halfway, almost halfway through this second, uh, third period, sorry. Yeah. 
So, the power play for the Wild, Volkanovs, Charnock, Gilbert, Britton, and Stubley, who's just scored a nice goal up on the point. Gilbert reverses it to Volkanovs on the point. Volkanovs steps down the half boards to create space for Stubley, who he drops it to at the point. Plays it back to Volkanovs. Using the space within his wild, but it's knocked off Volkanov's stick and goes down into the zone. Now Stubbly uh, switches direction to Charnock, and Charnock oh. tries a clever low feed, which he gets on net, but Rogers kicks that into the corner. And now Charnock turning again. Charnock drew the penalty. And now away come the Hawks, short handed, Novak turning, eats up a few seconds, turns back to Wainwright. Wainwright. A very long shoot-in, gloved down by Coles. Well, we've seen him put those in yeah. before now. Everybody changes, and the Wild come up with Volkanovs with speed. Moving one way, then the other, then turning inside. And now with a shooting opportunity. Oh, no! And he centred it <laughs> for Britain, and Britain was tied up. Yeah, I don't think he realised it was coming in. So a couple of fantastic individual skating efforts we've seen from Charnock and Volkanovs. Well, Volkanovs there just went skate, weaving through, untouched. Now Stubbly plays up to Britain. Britain turns onto his forehand. And the loose puck now for Hajek, centred for Beach. Oh. But that was in too tight for him to do anything with it. Now Stubbly looking, head fakes. Plays it down low, but it's cut off by Ethan Mayo for the Hawks. Mayo gets stapled in the corner, plays to Valuziak, who has managed to clear the zone under pressure from Novak. Coles now, quick up, assist for the goalie. Have we got it? It's on the stick of Beach. He drops it for Hadjik. Oh! Hadjik tried to go short side high and he missed the net. And back to full strength. And a stretch pass for Dixon, who's just come out of the penalty bench, was just beyond him. Now. Hajek through centre, looking for Wyatt. That's iced, is it? And coming right back. Well, did I say, George, nine minutes, nine seconds remaining in this third and final period of this uh, NHL Midlands Cup game. Five goals behind. It's a big ask for Blackburn yeah. to try and get those. But we never say never. Looks unlikely at this stage. You've got to say the... Uh, the last six goals all scored by the Wild. Remember, the Hawks had the lead in this game in the first period. They were 2-1 up, but um, the Wild since then have not looked back. Six unanswered goals. Can only see this going one way, Gary. Oh, and it's oh, a little tap in there. Valusiak turning, trying to get centre the puck, where Parsons is looking hungry. That isn't to say that, of course, the Hawks... Oh, playing. what an Ooh. opportunity there. Get back in one goal at a time and pucks to the net is the way that it will happen. And that was a good example there. Yeah, they've got, they've got Showing to tap some danger. Shoving match here between Parsons and Joe Wyatt. But uh, nothing came of that, I don't think, or did it? Williams has his hand up. But I think it's for an icing call that's coming all the way back. Yeah, it looks like it is, yep. It's pointed to the spot. So, we have Clancy, Novak, Dickinson, Kearney Witter, and one other whose number I can't read, Jean-Jacques, oh, Jean out, yeah. uh, out for the Hawks in black. And... Beach, Gilbert, Hajek. The lines have been uh, mixed up a bit here for well, the Wild. We've not seen Hager much this period. Now that was Jean Jacques up to Clancy, and now it's loose. And the defenseman takes a oh. strong wrist shot, which has cleared the zone. And now Kearney Witter has to come back and collect what's left of that. He plays a nice little move. And another. Oh, nice one. <laughs> lovely little dipsy doodle from Kearney Witter, and now gets the feed in the oh. middle. And oh. The loose puck and Witter Here we go. is now going with Kemp, the two big men. Oh, and the powerful, powerful left hands from Kenny Witter has floored Kemp. Yeah, I think uh, Coles Kemp. tosses the puck down the ice in disgust. Yeah, replay there. Kemp lost his foot quite early. Witter lands on him. But either way, 
opportunity there. Witter with some nice moves down the ice, but couldn't put it in, but decided to crash the net either way, causing that little bit of eruption. And now, Kemp and Witter are going to spend two minutes on the, on the pine while the rest of their teammates try and finish out this third period. 7.52 remaining. It's still Witness Wild 7, Blackburn Hawks 2. Well, that's the two heavyweights, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Witter takes some guts to fight him, and if anyone's going to do it, Lee Kemp will be the man. Well, this is a pay-per-view, that's what you came for. Absolutely, <laughs> that's top of the bill, isn't it? It, yeah, it was, yeah. The, the undercard was all right, yeah. but that was the top of the bill. <laughs> Short though, wasn't it? It was, but I mean, they so <laughs> often just like are. One of those they, yeah. It takes a lost edge and that pay per view, and it lasts two seconds. It's all yeah. gone. <laughs> so no additional penalty. I can't see unless um, Craig Williams, who's over at the wild bench, has got a little surprise for us all. It looks at the moment like a couple of fighting penalties. No, hang on, the wild penalty's been taken off. Oh, so it might well be the goaltender interference penalty going up for Kenny Witter. And a couple of fighting penalties on top. Well, we wait to see what this. We're waiting to see it. Uh, so, bench penalty by the look of it. So, no signals yet. Mr. Williams is still having discussions. But um, it's five on four out on the ice. That's what we do know. So, no, it's four. Just four. under eight minutes to play. Oh, yeah, five on four. Yep, there's yeah. a fifth uh, wild winger there, Charnock, hiding in amongst the crowd from, so where, we, from where we view. Mr. Williams just uh, explaining the situation to the timekeeper and hopefully... Oh! OK, uh, this yep. will be the extra... The extra bench penalty, yeah. Yeah. So... That's Jones so it will be and Witter. Jones keeping Witter company for the next two minutes. So it will be Jones out of the bench after the two minutes. And Kenny Witter will have to sit uh, as long as uh, Kemp does for the fighting penalty. Just under eight minutes to play. Five goals to the good with Niz Wild. Face off in the Hawk zone. John Jack. Throws the puck around and gets the zone clear. And the Wild regrouping now with Stubbly. D to D to Volkanovs. Volkanovs stretch pass up to Ken Armstrong. Uh, Ken Armstrong. Oh, shot Charnock. Well blocked. blocked. And the clearance Whoa. taken. Clearance came loose to Stubbly up at the point. Yeah, Stubbly had a clear shot on goal there. But thrown one in, but Rogers is equal to yeah, it. Rogers, easy soak up for him there. Ken Armstrong, a local favourite here. Dedicated club player for many, many years. Doesn't always see a lot of ice time, but let's see what he can do now. Well, when you've got players like uh, Hager and Beach and <laughs> Volkanovs, oh, looking for the hat trick, shot wide. Yeah, not seen Hager this period. I think he's uh... so he's not going for his hat trick. Nope. <laughs> but no. he's not greedy though. Not too worried about the stat line, presumably. Wants to maybe try out a few new oh. things. A good pass by Stubbly to Volkanovs. He is looking for a hat trick. Well, and probably deserves one today. The way he's played, he's yeah. When you got a five goal player. lead, though, George. This Open is... here, stretch pass. Beg your pardon, Gary. That's okay. Valusiak tried to find Parsons, and it was just beyond him. Would have been a dangerous play for the Hawks. Parsons now turning inside. Oh, point blank shot from Davies. He shot low, and Coles once more makes the save. As I was saying, it's uh, when you're five goals in front, George. Now's the time to try and mix things Absolutely, up. Yeah, try and keep new. Perspective, yeah. Take advantage of um, the time now. Determined to win. This is Davies with another slap shot, and Coles is equal to it again. And Hager's in there now. And Stubbly <laughs> makes sure that we don't get another run on the goalie. Hager is out. 
Oh, and the, oh, and the opportunity down on our replay shows. One on one almost. An opportunity to try and pull one back, but it failed. And Coles Davies. has done great between the posts in this uh, since he's been on. Yeah, perfect record so far for Coles. Oh, Coming commentators curse, George. Oh, you are. I didn't. <laughs> I haven't said the S word, so don't. Um, here we go. Hajek moving onto his backhand, coming in with speed, bodied heavily out by Wainwright. But he comes out, out with it, Hajek, and oh. there's a stick in the way of the pass as he attempted to feed Robinson. Wilcox now for the wild, puts the puck down behind the net, and now Beach up to Hager on the point. And one of the penalties is just about the to end. He's about to expire. Yeah, and that's uh, and Jones out. Jones out just in time for the Hawks to come in. Three on two, and Jones going hard to the far post. And the high shot was wide from Novak. And Coles grabs the bounce off the boards. And with five minutes and 41 seconds left to play, it remains 72 wild. Well, I must say... The stick play in this third period of the Wild has been a, a, a lot better. Their, their passing's been a lot better and a lot more settled. But obviously, yeah. when you're five points yeah. ahead, they got the composure of a team that confidence, uh, yeah, yeah, that has got a comfortable lead in the game now. Uh, Dixon now turning, centering, cut off easily by Stubbley. But Stubbley's clearing attempt was weak, and Cade King recovers it now for the Hawks and centers. Ooh almost on the stick of Dixon but it was just checked away from him Alex Lutwich now has put the puck down back into the corner where Cade King turning for Dixon the Hawks now working the puck in the wild zone good feet there quick feet from the Hawks player who managed to change the direction of the puck but it's now knocked up to centre where we have Grimshaw out on the ice oh He's not had many shifts this game, Grimshaw, but uh, good to see the Wild getting some of their less experienced players out. Grimshaw bodied to the ice there, and then the long cross ice dump will be icing and will come all the way back. So just an opportunity to uh, say to our viewers of Job the Put, because we've got a massive archive of games there, back catalogue you can always catch if you go to our YouTube channel, but we'll give you more details on that at the end of the game. Uh, Beach and Volkanovs out here with Armstrong in place of what would have been Hager, and Ooh, the feed from Beach to Volkanovs didn't quite come off, and Volkanovs then Feathers one up to Murray on the point. Tries a low shot, but that's blocked by Alex Lutwich. And now at centre, Cade King has a look, doesn't like what he sees, and turns back. Then goes D to D with Lutwich. And the Hawks bring it up with Riddick. Rides the check. Finds Davies out oh. front for Valusiak, whose low shot was gloved but not held by Coles. And now the Wild are coming away. Armstrong. Knocks it back to Beach. Beach oh. goes backhand and he's run out of the play by James Riddock. But now Hajek has got it. Hajek <laughs> looking to get a backhand play. Oh. Now there's a penalty here for a slash. And it will be on one of the Hawks players, a slash on Hajek, as he protected the puck. Oh, is it Alan Davis? I think so, yeah. Got to say, Davis looks dog tired. He's worked hard tonight. Well, gives us a nod as he goes to the bench. Much appreciated. Yeah, good friend of Drop the Puck is Aaron, but yeah. uh, he's going to spend a bit of time now giving uh, Kenny Wisser some company. Yeah. He looks grateful of the rest, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, the face off is won by Britain, but the Hadjik overskated the puck on a shooting opportunity. And now Stubbley must walk the line away from Valuziak, which he's done. Oh. oh, and his shot was stick checked away by Jean Jacques. Uh, of the Hawks' defence. And uh, now coming up with a bit of speed, but turning away is Valusiak, who do I, oh, I do think is everywhere, Valusiak. Yeah, he seems All the to time, be. he is busy. Uh, but Briley, uh, deep in the wild zone, stretch pass up to Britain. Britain gains the zone, turns, looks around, feeds Stubbley up at the point. Stubbley attempts to change the angle on Novak, but Novak blocks that puck. And Briley to Stubbley up at the point. Stubbley, long shot, hit his own man, Wyatt, and went wide of the net. Some measured play here from the Wild as the Hawks 
uh, struggling to clear and out in front for Hajek turning good save Rogers got down to block that now Briley takes a shot low and uh, it was loose for Novak, whose backhand was weak. Now Novak out in front to Stubbley. Stubbley's low. Ooh. Stubbley shoots, but it's blocked away by Rogers. Stubbley again. How many shots Stubbley this game? Oh, and it's another penalty on Blackburn. So, chasing the play. Kenny Witter and Kemp. The, uh, the top card. Yeah, Witter straight back onto the ice. Are both out now. Yeah, and Kemp's gone to the uh, bench. And John Jack takes one in, one out. Kenny's uh, Kenny's seat, Kenny Witter's seat, and uh, Kenny Witter returns to the ice to try and hold the four on what will be a five on three. So it's Wayne Wright, Kenny Witter out as uh, defenseman Wayne Wright, Clancy, and Kenny Witter. We've got Grimshaw, Hager. And Robinson is oh. Grimshaw. Oh, oh, great chance. Great chance, Grimshaw, but he's shot wide. Now, Kenny Witter will try and clear the zone, and he does so because Murray can't get there to shut it down. 33 seconds on this five on three. Good bit of situational play practice here for the Wild. Murray bringing it up. Hawks back right off. Murray's shot is easily knocked away into the corner, and then he gets bodied by Wainwright. And. D to D, Wilcox to Robinson, loose puck, oh, easy Jim. finish, Grimshaw, look at the happiness. Well, Grimshaw in the right place at the right time, as the puck gets fed in, bounces round, it's fed back to the back corner there, and he's sitting on the side of the post, little one-two, taps it in, and it's now with this wild eight, Blackburn Hawks two. Well, George, if you're a Hawks player, you've got to be happy. You've got to say, looks like the job's done with two minutes, eight seconds remaining in this, uh, in this period. But... Yeah. Blackburn have got to be thinking to themselves, where do we go wrong? Well... They, uh, they haven't been able to beat Cole, and that's been... Uh, Part of the story. Still five on four, of course. It is, yeah. Kenny Witter brings it round for the Hawks. And Grimshaw uh, gets hit by Kenny Witter. Takes a spill in the corner and the puck is lofted up into the netting. Uh, where did it go wrong? Well, they just struggled to cope with some of the speed that the Wild have thrown at them. The counter-attacking. Uh, counter yeah. Later in the game, as they've tried to get control of things, I feel like, you know, the last uh, seven goals having gone the Wild's way is probably a bit of a discredit to the Hawks and the way they played. It's been more even than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on balance, um, you know, when... When you just tilt the ice a little bit in your favour, that's the way the goals go. And that's certainly how it's worked out today. So, Of course, this we always say it here on Drop the Puck, witnesses ring, very small, compact. Yeah. They place to their advantage, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Blackburn's ring, obviously, are much, much bigger. But you've got to say, it's an Olympic-sized ring, and they're used to the, the space, yeah. the open space. It's not worked for them here. Yeah. Yep, so it would be interesting to see uh, when the uh, Wild visit the Hawks if the uh, change in ice surface has an effect in balancing things up. Uh, Wilcox has uh, won a puck here for the Wild. They pass up to Gilbert and then go D to D. Stubbley once again oh, well saved. shoots in on Rogers. Stubbley has had the puck on his stick an awful lot at the Wild blue line in this game. Uh, we were just saying there before about the Hawks having to uh, face the Wild, the Derry. Of course, they've already played them early on in this Cup game. They'll get to play them in the, in the regular league action. And one could say to, you know, you could say if you're a Hawks fan, well, it's a Cup game, we're not really, we're not really looking at it, but in my eyes, it's a Derby game. Silverware up for yeah. grabs, you yeah. would go all out for no, it. No, and, I, you know, the Hawks came to win. They brought the crowd. Good number of... Uh, Hawks fans out in the crowd as we've got seven seconds left on the penalty to Jean-Jacques. 50 and, uh, seconds remaining now in the game. joined <laughs> by Parsons for his well, second penalty of the game. And uh, Beach. Along with Beach. So, less than a minute to play. 
I think it's going to be five on four uh, for the next seven seconds, and then it'll be five on five. Is it? Five on four? Uh, five on four. Oh, hang on a second. Well, if the Wild have got four, then you'd expect the Hawks to have three. So uh, let's get the numbers right. <laughs> Quick maths lesson down at the uh, scorekeeper's <laughs> bench. And the result is that it is four on three. Davies. Whoa. No, no, no. No. Right, oh, so. Telling off for the timekeepers. And five on four is what we clearly heard is what Craig Williams wants and what the refs want the refs will get <laughs> yeah they're always on the winning side they the are, black and white stripey yeah. guys aren't they <laughs> so five on four uh, yeah, Tristan Grimshaw the, penalties, you uh, the last coincidental penalties absolutely so it will be back five on five in five seconds time oh. as Grimshaw looking for his second out on this top line in place of Hager uh, Wilcox cross ice pass for Volkanovs evades him Volkanovs turning feathers it back to Wilcox Wilcox looks up feeds a cross oh. for Grimshaw but it just skipped over his stick we're back five on five Jean-Jacques is back out less than 30 seconds to play here as Wilcox and Brierley go D to D on wild defence looking for an opening one last chance here stretch pass up to Grimshaw but it doesn't get through to him now Volkanovs has got it drives in on the backhand takes it deep turns away from Cade King 10 seconds left to play long shot in Grimshaw oh, oh he challenged <laughs> jam chance for his second goal it didn't quite go will he get one more chance with seconds left Briley will shoot it's blocked and 8-2 is the final score to the Witness Wild well lots of action right up to the final whistle and, and you've got, you got to say George Wild gave a great account of themselves in that one Blackburn Hawks started off well but just continued on a down slope they did yeah had the 2-1 lead early in the first period but the three goal second period from the Wild broke the resolve of the Blackburn Hawks and the third period ended up being a bit of a formality really for the Wild well with this Wild continue their uh, climb up the table in this uh, Midlands Cup group um, with another win and look to try and get some silverware at the end of the season but uh, with that we're going to take uh, a short break which afterwards we're going to go down to the locker rooms and speak with uh, players and coaches get their views from how the game went join us right after this short break Breaks and Sons sponsor Drop the Puck. with Blackburn Hawks captain Reese Kenny Witter. Reese, a tough defeat there. The lads obviously played the heart out or tried to at least anyway. Yeah, well we we, we just we just want good enough tonight. We're just sloppy at the back. Uh, we want enough good enough going forward. Um, it was just a it was just a poor performance really after last night. We played well against Billingham last night and that's just not good enough. So do you think maybe you know the extensive game against Billingham last night played into tonight a little bit? It's not no, it's not an excuse really. Do you know what I mean? We've been playing back to back as well, so it's not an excuse. We just weren't good enough. It's um, witness was just a better team tonight, and uh, we just we just didn't turn up really. So now it was noticeable. Obviously, a number of the goals came from witness either on the power play or the counter attack. Is that something that's been highlighted or ready to be worked on? Yeah, we have. Uh, as discipline's been poor as well recently. We've been get, taking a lot of penalties, and it's been costing us, as you can see out there, with how many power play goals we scored. It's not good enough. 
and ultimately Blackburn obviously new team this season fresh face coming in all again what's it like in the dressing room at the moment I mean besides taking today's result into account what's it been like the mentality in the locker room it's been good we've all been we've been working hard in training and then just obviously we've had a couple of blips but we'll reset and we'll, we'll come back we'll come back stronger so excellent I'm sure all the fans are glad to hear that Reese. all the best for the rest of the season mate we'll catch you again soon thank you bye and with witness wild Mike Gilbert Mike an emphatic performance out there tonight quite a convincing victory in the end yeah it was a really good uh, really good show from the boys uh, we all stuck together we played quite well uh, we stuck it. We took it to him. We played fast hockey, uh, plenty of shots on net, which is what we wanted to do. We played smart defensively, so it was really good. So it was notable, obviously. Hawks went in at the end of that first period, two one up, slow out the blocks. Something was said in the locker room there in that second period. Any 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 inside? Is it? <laughs> uh, we had we had we sort of just wanted needed to rile each rile each other up a bit more, so we could get right into the game. I think the first period we were just getting into the game a bit, uh, so we were a little bit slow. Uh, we, we let in two sloppy goals, but we adjusted. Uh, we saw what we did wrong and we adjusted to it, and then we just got them on the counter attack every time. Uh, we got a bit of uh, quite a bit of zone time, which was good. I think it just got us into the game, and it, we, we, we went from there. Now it's obviously a testament to the coaching staff at Witness, the amount of lads that were able to put pucks in the net tonight. What's it like knowing you've got that support there, running through all the lines? Oh yeah, it's really good. We've got a good group of lads uh, this year. Uh, everyone's. Each line can score, anyone on each line can score, and including the D-men, we're getting the D a lot more involved, and it's, it's, it's really good to see. It's, it's good to not just rely on one line or two lines. It's When you can have it on all three lines or all four lines with the guy stepping in as well, it's really good. And obviously, folks turn to the upcoming games. Is it more of the same now? Is that what we're going to see from the Wild? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we just had a little bit of a lull against Solway, but that was just in the second period. Uh, so we've just built on that built on adjusted it again and we'll just we'll, we'll keep we'll keep the train rolling excellent well Mikey best luck for the rest of the season we'll catch you soon nice one thank you well there you go an exciting yeah what do you mean who <laughs> well well obviously for that one I didn't have the pleasure of calling that when you had George with you and a massive thank you to George as always um, but it was me stuck behind the lens for that one and it's interesting when you're getting a different perspective because normally I like to watch the game and call it viewing it from th that perspective there that looked like Witness had come in with a plan, executed the plan, and then wanted more of the cake they'd grabbed. It's, I honestly expected a closer game, but um, I, I said it in the commentary, I don't think Blackburn had any answers to the counter-attacking speed and um, precise goal scoring that Witness had. Look, to... <laughs> From the interview we've just had with Reese, uh, I think, you know, most of the Blackburn players and fans will agree that's not what they wanted, it's not what they expected, and it's not what they came here to do. And it wasn't the same results as last time, was it? 5-4 last time? Exactly. Um, and I think, you know, the big, the big draw is that to take away from that, they've been able to hang with the Wild for so long. And, you know, they went, let, let's break it down. First period, they were 2-1 up. They but came out the blocks and they caught the wild on the back foot and I think that was key. But seven unanswered goals, Ben. How seven unanswered goals. I know people will say, well it was a cup game, you know, and nevertheless, it's a derby game. These two teams love battling out against each other. The history, whatever. But the thing is, the silverware up for grabs at the end of this. You may not make it in the league because you know you gotta remember you're playing the likes of Whitley Warriors, Billingham got uh, there Solly Hall Solway so, Solway yeah. so you've got all those teams you've got to compete against and it's going to be tough in the league when you're in this like Midlands Cup it's a small mini group you've got to take your chances you've got to think okay well we are we can give a good account of ourselves in the cup then you know it'll help us build for the league uh, you know, and it's, I was talking to Reese uh, just before he went in to do the interview with you and he said you know look it's the, the cup. If we can finish up in that table, top half of the table, uh, for for the league, then you know we've done well. Um, but if I'm honest, well, with a performance like that, not to make excuses for Blackburn, okay? I did ask Reese in that interview. Do you think it was obviously you had that game last night as well against Solihull? Do you think it could have been down to that? Oh, sorry, Billingham. Apologies, it was Billingham. Um, 
do you think it could have been down to that? And he said, no, we've had plenty of double headers. I'm sorry, but it was a 10-7 game, I believe, last night. It went the distance. There was plenty of goals and action in that one. The lads played the heart out then. And then they've come today to witness, Planet Ice witness, where it's a smaller rink, it's higher intensity, faster paced, and witness came out with rockets on their skates. So the, uh, the Hawks players had to step up the ferocity, the, the, the pace of the game, the, the energy to just try and keep in the game. And obviously, I think that ultimately was what happened. They just slipped off the gas. Well, well, for, I mean, I said it in the commentary. The first period, it was quite scrappy, and some of the goals were like, you know, uh, easy tappings sometimes. And, and you were thinking, well, is this the way it's going to be? It's going to be scrappy. It's going to be physical. It's going to be one of them, you know, close five, four games again. And, that. and it completely turned it on its head. And Witness used the ring to their advantage, the speed to their advantage. Um, they came off the back of. Uh, a win last week against the leading team in this in Midlands group, the Simmons. Twice they've beaten them. Now they're sitting proudly at the top of the table, and you've got to say to yourself, it's looking good for Witness. The oh, by all means, yeah, I totally agree with you. You know, Witness right now have come up to this morally division with having silverware in the back catalogue. Have set their sights on the new silverware. But that was never the intention. They just wanted to establish themselves in the league. So right now, this is like having the keys to the sweet shop and being told, <laughs> I'm going to tear my eyes for 10 minutes. Well, <laughs> I can't take it away from the fact that there was obviously um, Harrison Walker took that injury uh, for Witness Wild between the pipes. And Cole stepped Evan in. Cole, man. And gave a great performance. That guy, I mean, if I was rich, I, 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 I've got to be saying, well... What do I do? Do I play him next game? Well, this is it, and this is a great position for a coach to be in when you've got two absolutely young, hungry, superb, top talented netminders. Um, you know, it's not, in the hindsight, it's not a bad, you know, a bad position to be in. Um, well, I'm but ultimately, you know, you've, you've got people on the, on the other side of the puck there. You know, Mike Rogers, who had previously played for the Flincher Phantoms, moved up to the D-Side Dragons and now finds himself at the Blackburn Hawks. That's a big hill, and uh, with that came a big learning curve, I Good think. Good performance well. from him. But completely, you know, held his own, managed to do there. I believe the backup netminder today for Blackburn would have been Ash Smith. Ash Smith, um, I'm sure it's for Ash Smith of the whole Pirates formerly as well. But for whatever reason, Coach Clancy decided, you know, at this stage of the game, do you do you give Rogers more rubber time and just get him, you know, get his eye in and get more experience under his belt? Maybe that was the game plan that all this time. But either way, all three netminders we saw today gave a great account of themselves. But I've got to say, Ben, going from previous drop the puck games of the history that we've had in, in the past eight seasons, that Blackburn Hawks team. And we said it in the intro, it was like an all-star team. But all I could see was a lot of players from the likes of uh, Altrincham Maces. I mean, at one point, it was all nearly all Altrincham Maces Yeah, Mises Dickinson, players. Kane, um, Jones, they were all there on the ice as well. And, you know, and the Smithering and the Dragons as well. We saw Dixon and, and Parsons and, and Wainwright. But that, that's how it, you know, it's played out in this league at the moment. The teams have, have sourced players that they wanted and that were available. And to the due of the Blackburn Hawks, they walked away from, you know, a performance last night against Billingham like that. And then they came into witness today who were fresh faced, hadn't had a game yesterday, were coming off the back of that Scimitar's win the week before. I don't know. Is, is the motion is it the right mix? That's what you gotta say to you. Yeah. You gotta ask yourself, is this the right mix for Blackburn? Is this is this the, the, the future face of Blackburn? Is that what they're gonna be like? Because one week one day you can have a win, the next you can't. And, and you, if I was a coach I'd be like, we need to get consistency if we're gonna take a serious assault on this league. And games like that there they should be where they previously were battling the mountain, they were close, and today I could see why Reese was quite disappointed. It's, it wasn't the result they were looking for, but nevertheless, a win for Witness. We're not going to take it away from them. A great performance from the Witness Wild. Um, they're going to go on to play an elite game next, but um, the one thing I'm going to say, Ben, is I'm looking forward to seeing these two play in the league. Totally, you know, and then we mentioned so many players there, of course. A lot of those players have already been here and dropped the puck. 
I know you'll be able to catch all those seasons and those episodes previous right here on our YouTube channel. Also, while you're checking out the socials, you might as well head over to our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, and our website as well. And don't forget, on the Facebook page, you can now buy your official Drop the Puck merchandise. Um, that was modelled by Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's better models on the advert, trust me. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> um, but ultimately, Gary, I think, you know, the be-all, end-all is... Blackburn learned a lesson today. They know what they did wrong. They've got a game plan to go home and work on. Witness, however, are a locomotive building momentum. What are going to take to derail them? Well, it's been a great day here. Thanks to both teams for a great game. Thanks to the fans, of course, that came here to support. Thanks to you, the viewers. Thanks to our production team here at BASN. And uh, without further ado, I've been Gary Lee. I've been Ben Lee. And we've been Drop, Drop the, the Puck. puck.